like a hell cut. What's up guys, so this could be my Impact Wrestling Slammiversity 2019 review. The show was in Dallas, Texas. Um, we'll start with the opening match. This match was basically added to the last minute. It was basically a fatal, really a four-way X Division match. Um, the, the competitors were Willie Mack, TJP, Jake Chris representing OVE, and... Trey Miguel representing the Radicals. And this was a good match. You know, a good way to kick off the pay-per-view. A really good X Division match. Really fast pace. Um, a tense match. Um, Willie Mack got the victory. You know, they are basically a building Willie Mack up. You know, I'm, for Willie Mack, he kind of impressed me since he made his debut last year. I think this guy could be a future star. If he's avoid injuries, I think this guy could be a future world champion one day. You know, he's got charisma. And you got a lot of people going to say, Oh, he's gay, he's gay. No, he's not gay. The guy's fucking got charisma. You know, anyway. um, Yeah, the opening match was a good match to kick off the show. And this match was basically changed. It was supposed to be a normal one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, yeah, normal one-on-one -on -one tag team match for the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Tiles. It was between uh, LAX versus the Radicals. But unfortunately... Two days before the pay-per-view, they did a tag team match on a house show. It was basically LAX versus the North, and the North beat LAX for the tag team belts. So it's now a freeway for the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championships. The North, the new champions, that is um, Ethan Page and Josh Alexandra, versus LAX, the former champs, that is um, Otis and Santana, Versus the Radicals, that is, uh, was it Desmond, Ale uh, Xavier, and um, Zachary Wentz. You know, I can't really pronounce the name properly, don't remember. Um, and this, this tag team match was good. It was like, sometimes I don't like freeways or four way tag team match. There could be car crashes, but this was good. A lot of fa fast pace, a lot of tag team maneuvers, and the North retained the tag team belts on the show. Because they just really won the belt. It makes no sense to have the, the guy um, won the belt the, the, won the belt on a PAL show or a pay-per-view, the previous pay-per-view, and went on to drop the belt at the following month's pay-per-view. So, yeah, the North retains. So, it's going to be, basically, it's going to be a feud between LAX and the North. And then we've got, basically, we've got a hardcore match, um, Eddie Edwards versus Killer Cross. I'm guessing this is Killer Cross's final Impact Wrestling match. I'm not too sure. Anyway, this match was good, and uh, Killer Cross was wearing face paint, and it was physical. A lot of, like they used chairs throughout the match. You had one moment you had like basically Killer Cross kind of like scoop Eddie Edwards into the piles of chairs. They used um, Kenny the candlestick. At the end of the match, you had like Eddie Edwards kind of perform this type of um, sit down powerbomb onto Killer Cross. I think it was in the same piles of chairs. And Eddie Edwards beat Killer Cross. He kind of tapped him, not tapped him out, kind of bleed him out. Kind of used the uh, candlestick as a weapon, kind of choked him out with the candlestick. Uh, Killer Cross did not tap out, he kind of bleed out. Oh, no, not bleed out, uh, more, like, basically passed out. You know, yo, know, Killer Cross character looks strong, and I hope it's not his final match in Impact Wrestling. I really like Killer Cross, but who knows? So it's a good win for Eddie Edwards. Okay, and then we got yeah, we got RVD versus Moose. This match was okay. It wasn't bad, but it was okay. It wasn't. It was good, but not great. Yeah, RVD for me he still can go, but. Let's be honest, I think he's past his prime, man. I'm not being negative. I like RVD, but he's just too old. But, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just why it is, you know, like... They use the... Ch I think Moose used to try to hit him with the chair, but RVD kind of you hit him with a roundhouse kick. And I think he hit him with a DDT. He was about to hit the, the frog splash, but Moose got out of the way, hit the spear, and Moose got the, scored the victory. You know, I think, like... I said in my predictions on my Central Man Network um, channel that 
I I rather see a young uh, yo uh, the old guy putting over the young guy. So Moose got the victory, and then moving on to the four way monsters brawl match for the knockouts championship. Um, the contenders are Tyler Valkyrie, the champion, defending the belt against Rosemary, Su Yang, and Jessica Jessica Havoc. Yeah, in my opinion, this is match of the night. One moment of the match, you had Tala Valkyrie kind of like stapled this type of picture onto Su Young's face. That was sick. They did this move with the ladder. Like, I think it was Tyler, Tyler Valkyrie, Su Yang, and Rosemary. They, they went through, on, they kind of landed onto the ladder, onto the top rope. That was sick. They used the tacks. Like, yeah, the Tala Valkyrie kind of stumped uh, Rosemary on the head. Kind of stamped it into the attacks. In the end, you had like basically you had uh, Jessica Havoc kind of perform this power driver. I think it's on Su Yang or Rosemary onto the power attacks. That was super sick. Uh, Tyler Valkyrie hit Jessica Havoc, kind of throwed the chair onto Havoc. Um, Valkyrie kind of pinned. I think it was Su Yang or Rosemary to score the victory and basically retain her knockouts championship. And this was. My opinion, match of the night. Okay, and then we got, yep, we got the X Division match. For the X Division, not X Division match, we got the match for the X Division Championship, Rich Swan versus Johnny Impact, and this match was good. It was a lot of fast pace, you had, um, basically at some point you had Johnny, uh, Johnny Impact kind of perform the Spanish Fly, it was this type of C4 type of move, I think on three or four times. Um, he hit the Starship Pain on Rich Swan. Rich Swan kicked out from that. In the end, you had uh, Rich Swan hit the uh, he hit uh, Johnny Impact's manager. Hit the Phoenix Splash onto Impact to to retain his X Division Championship. You know what's next for Johnny uh, Johnny Impact? I think it's back to the drawing board. And then we got the imp We got the match. We got the. The World Tile match, uh, Johnny Cage, the uh, not Johnny Cage, Brian Cage, the um, the Impact World Champion, defending the belt against Michael Elgin, and this match was good. You know that multiple times, like Elgin hit this type of power sit down power bomb, Cage kind of kicked out from that. The both powerhouses, and it was really good. Um, you know, I think like Elgin was about to do another power bomb, but instead Cage. Kind of like sit down to Elgin, pin. Um, really, it was not really a small package. It basically sat on Elgin. Ruffy did the free count, and basically Cage re basically retained his Impact World Title. And this was his first title defense. And then Br uh, Michael Elgin got pissed off, attacked Brian Cage, and then some mysterious guy in black came out of nowhere, speared uh, Michael Elgin. Mike thinks that is Rhino. Basically, Rhino hit the gore on Elgin, so it's basically it's going to be Michael Elgin versus Rhino. Who, who knows? And moving on to the main event. The main event, we got an intergender match. Um, Sammy Callahan versus Tessa Blanchard. And this was fucking good. For Tessa Blanchard, she took a, be a beating like a man. Like, Sammy Callahan kind of throwed her like a rag doll into the barricade outside of the ring. Tessa Blanchard kind of hit the um, cutter out into the ramp. That was sick. You know, the referee got knocked out after, you know, Tessa hit the referee. Sammy Callahan hit the, um, kind of hit Tessa with the baseball bat. And Tessa hit Sammy Callahan with the um, low blow. But, you know, yeah, Sammy Callan hit the um, power drive on Tessa Blanchard. After, you know, he kind of, at one match, you had Tessa kind of locked. Sammy Callan with a submission hold, but Sammy Counter hit this type of power driver. He hit the another power driver again, a normal power driver on Tessa to score the victory. And for T uh, for Sammy Callan, I think this guy needs to be in the world title picture. For Tessa Blanchard, I could see another a rematch, but who knows? But you know, overall. T uh Impact Wrestling Slam the first T twenty nineteen for me pussy I think it was a good show from top to bottom they p p deliver a good show you know there is no bad in this match uh no there is no bad in this show I think the the wrestlers 
in the company for competing that show gave a hundred percent, hundred ten percent upon an another awesome show by Impact Wrestling. So that is Slammer Firstly 2019 review. Hope you enjoy it. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.